Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I released an introductory video about Lazy, a groundbreaking PKM tool. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can find the link in the description down below. I've been progressively incorporating Lazy into my workflows and thanks to its speed and AI capabilities, capturing content and processing notes has become remarkably more efficient. In this video I will show you how you can use Lazy for note taking related to clients and meetings. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's get started. First of all, I think it's important to show you two main sections in Lazy, the people and the journal section. Let's start from the people one. You can open the people section with G and then P. Whenever you capture a content like a tweet, a video, an email and so on, Lazy also captures the author of that content and create a sort of profile in here. For example, let's say I want to capture a Twitter thread. I can press Command L, then Command plus Shift plus C to embed the content, and lastly, Command plus Enter to capture it. I can press Command I to open the notes I just created. And as you can see here on the right, I have the author. If I click on the name, I open the profile page that Lazy automatically created. Here on the right, you have other information. In this case, since I captured the content from Twitter, Lazy automatically retrieved the Twitter handle. And if I click on it, it opens the Twitter profile. If the content had been an email, the email address would have been here. But you can also add other properties manually, like the email, the phone, some social profile links, and others. And in the future, we will also have the possibility to add custom properties. I suggest saving as many properties as you can to a single profile to ensure the collected content from the same individual is stored in one place. For instance, it's possible that a person may use multiple email addresses, which Lazy might consider as separated entities. However, by saving both email addresses under the same profile, Lazy will consolidate the content accordingly. Now, you can also create a new person manually by clicking on the plus icon on the top right here. Insert the name and hit enter. You can change the icon and add all the properties you want as we saw earlier. Lastly, one of the best if not the best aspect of this section is the timeline view. Lazy automatically creates a timeline view of all the notes you take and content you capture related to this person. This is an amazing feature that allows you to have a comprehensive chronicles related to any specific person. Now, let's take a look at the journal section. You can open your journal with G and then J. This is a daily note. Also here is the place where Lazy automatically creates a backlink to any note you create from the launcher. In fact, as you can see, I have the backlink to the notes I captured before. This feature helps you to easily keep track of the content you capture during the day, but you can also use your daily notes to jot down anything you want. Now, I wanted to show you these two sections because both of them have a role in my meeting notes process. For this example, I will use the profile that Lazy created before when I captured the Twitter thread, but let's assume that you received an email from a potential client requesting a discovery call. You open the email and the first thing you can do is to capture it by pressing command plus L, then command plus shift plus C to embed the email, and then command plus enter to capture it. If you go back to Lazy, you will have the email directly inside the profile of the person that Lazy automatically created during the capturing process. From here, you simply start taking notes about that person. For example, in this situation, I answered to the request with an email asking the reasons that led him or her to book a session with me, so we can get the most from our discovery call. Depending on the answer, I write some agenda items right here inside the client page. At the moment, this is just a quick capture, but once we decided the date for our call, I will turn this capture into a note by pressing Ctrl plus N, and as title, I can write something like discovery call with double brackets, the name of the client, dash, and the date of the meeting, let's say February 20th. 
And now I have my note inside the timeline view linked to the client and to the daily note inside the journal. When the day will come, I can go to the client page and open the note. Inside the agenda section, I will have all the things I want to discuss and below it, I usually add a notes section where I write the key points discussed during our call, which will subsequently require my attention and action. At this point, I want to send a follow-up email. After you sent it, you can capture it and it will be automatically added to the timeline view inside the client page in Lazy. And you continue to do that for every communication with that person. At the end, it's all about using a couple of shortcuts and Lazy will take care of all the rest. And that's all for today, folks. By following this process, you will always be prepared for meetings. It allows you to review prior meetings and the agenda items you've noted for discussion. This will ensure that no critical points are missed and the conversation stays productive and efficient. Remember, you can follow me on X and Mastodon and you can also join my Discord server and subscribe to my website for further content about productivity, PKM and note-taking. I will leave all the links in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.